Hi, in this session we shall solve a few questions on derivatives. So first we shall solve a question on a table future. Now, uh, a table future is normally quoted at a discount to its face value. So if they say that the price is 98, it means that uh, it is discounted by 100 minus 98. That is the value is discounted by 2%. So normally table futures, 90 day table futures have a face value of around $1 million. So, and uh, so now if you, if you want to find out what would the delivery price be, so all you need to do is multiply this $1 million by this 2%, but since this 2% is an annualized rate, we need to convert it into that particular periodic rate. So it would be you just multiply this by 90 upon 360. So this would give you a value of $5,000. So this is the discount upon the face value. So therefore the delivery price, therefore the delivery price would be uh, 1 million minus $5,000. That would be equal to $995,000. So there's actually another shortcut using which you don't need to do all these calculations. There's one simple shortcut which says that since these 90 day table uh, future contracts are highly standardized. So for every one basis point, one basis point change, one basis point change, the value, the discount would change by $25. In other words, one basis point is equal to $25. One basis point is what? 0.01%. So in this case, our entire uh, our entire discount amount was two percent, or in other words, two hundred basis points. So two hundred into twenty five dollars will then again give you five thousand, and that would give you the same answer. So C is the right option. So next, we shall see a simple question on options. Now the question here is: find the lower bound for a European call option which is trading I mean which has a strike price of $75 and is trading at $78 so the simple formula for a lower bound of a call option is this all what we need to find out right here is what is the minimum price of the European call option so the formula for that is it can either be zero or it can be price of the stock that is the current trading price of the stock in the market minus the strike price uh, since this is a european uh, option the you will you can exercise the option only at the final date so you need to find out the present value of this particular strike price so you divide it by one plus the risk free rate and for that particular time period so this is the formula so if you want to substitute if you just substitute the values given here the current trading price of this stock is 78 dollars so 78 minus what is the strike price. The strike price is $75 divided by 1 plus 5 percent is the risk free rate okay, to the power 3 upon 12 because this time period is in terms of years. So this calculation would give you a value of around um, it will come 78 minus say uh, 74.1 so this is nothing but 3.9 so this is your right answer. It's answer. All you need to remember is just this part, this formula and you can solve pretty much any question.